We are learning more about the man who was killed in his own condo unit in Kaka'ako. He worked at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. And we first told you about this as breaking news last night, right after police reclassified it from an unattended death to murder. And still no arrest in the case. Kristen Concilio tells us new details about the victim. The Chinese Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii identified the man who was stabbed to death in Kaka'ako as Yao Wa Nathan Yan, an academic support specialist in the Center for Chinese Studies at UH Manoa. We're troubled to hear about that, um, just a, a loss of another member of our Chinese community. Honolulu police have opened a murder investigation after Yan was found dead in his apartment on Wednesday at the Pacifica Honolulu. We're, you know, just co-sponsoring an event with them uh, just on Chinese culture uh, that's going to happen next month. And so we heard about this and we were uh, just deeply saddened. This just weeks after a chemical attack on Dan Ying Zhang, a Chinese guest teacher walking in the Ala Moana area. The latest crime is shocking neighbors in Kaka'ako. The police have been outside the past couple of days. At first, like, they didn't say it was a murder, but then, like, word got around the building. There was gossip in the elevators. Definitely, it makes me, you know, turn, look over my shoulder when I'm walking at night, but I'm not surprised, just given the amount of crime that's been in, in the county lately. According to the Center for Chinese Studies, Yan arrived in Hawaii in 1991 and earned his master's degree at UH. For more than a decade, he worked as a special education teacher for the Department of Education. A post by the Center for Chinese Studies director describes Yan as a hardworking and reliable team player. Kristen Concilio, Island News.